Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize Copilot Studio Agents at no additional cost. Because here's what happens. We get so wrapped up in all of these billing rates and the message consumptions that we tend to miss the silver lining. That if you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot user license, then all of these big Copilot Studio features such as generative answers or tenant graph grounding messages can be utilized at no additional cost. So in this video, I'm going to go through scenarios of two users utilizing the exact same agent. And then we'll take a look at how the message consumption works for each of these users. So stick around because this video is very important both for agent makers, users, and the decision makers. But first, here's my intro video. So let's quickly go over this Microsoft Copilot Studios billing rates and management. And I'll take this link and put it in the description below. I highly recommend you bookmark this one. And so this is what I was talking about in my introduction is that this column over here, which is the Copilot Studio features and this billing rate, this is the one that we tend to focus more on so that when we are planning for our next agent, we want to know that, hey, if I went out and had some generative answers, how many messages would that consume? If I had some tenant graph grounding for messages, well, what would be the billing rate for that? This is where we tend to focus most of our attention. However, we also tend to miss the silver lining, which is this column right here. Because if we had users who've been assigned Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses, then what would normally charge a regular user, say 10 messages for the tenant graph grounding, guess what? No charge for this user with Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And just to solidify that, there is also a statement over here, which again, we tend to miss because it says interactive use of classic generative or the tenant graph grounding answers uh, used by Microsoft 365 Copilot users in Microsoft 365 apps such as Teams are included at no additional cost. So it's one thing to read about it, but what I'm going to do in this video is actually demonstrate that to you by two specific users and see how the message consumption happens. Because once you understand how this works, it'll really help you plan for all those future agents that you're gonna build and the licenses that you wanna to give to all your end users. So now let's take a look at those two users. So user number one is actually me and I'm the only one in my company who's been allocated the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. User number two is Gabriel Christian, and guess what? That user does not have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. However, the user does have the Microsoft 365 E3 license. That is the key one. So next, let me show you the agent, which is the exact same one that both the users test against. So this is the custom agent that I built in Copilot Studio from scratch. And if you're interested about how I did that, I've got a link to another video below uh, where I actually walked you through building it step by step. But at least let me give you a quick overview. Uh, in this agent, I've actually got a few custom things done. One of the important ones is an action because this action is actually what utilizes a third party company to get me some information about a specific Lego part number and bring that back into the agent for the discussion. Uh, and for that, I even have a custom topic. So right over here, Lego part number, when I go and click on it, if I scroll down, you will see this is where the action is utilized. And then as I can also see, if I go back into the overview and if I scroll down, you will see that I also got some starter prompts. So basically now you understand that in order for this agent to be utilized, a lot of message consumption is happening at different levels. So let's go and see this agent being utilized from the two different users, one who has the Copilot 365 license and the other one who's just a Microsoft 365 E3 license. Now you will notice that they look the exact same, which is the point. However, after I show you that, we'll also take a look at the message consumption. So this agent actually has been deployed into the Microsoft Teams and the 365 channels. And after doing that, here you go. This is the agent. It's the same one, Lego Agent 007. So let me just show you a little bit of interaction with this agent, all right? I come over here and I say hello, and I say hello, and the agent will actually respond back because there is one of those topics over here. And what I'm trying to do is keep it the exact same. 
So I'm going to say, looking for information regarding Lego parts. Can you help? Hit enter, another topic kicks in, great. So what I'm going to do is just provide about two to three different Lego part numbers. I'm going to say 3001, I'll hit enter. It is going and using that action, gets me the information, great, here it is. It says based on your research, its name is Brick 2x4, perfect. Uh, let's go and do at least two more. It's asking me, would you like to have, it's, it's asking me, would you like to look for another Lego part number? I'll say yes. So I'll go and click on that. It's saying, sure, I can help you provide me the Lego part number. So this time I'll do 3002. Again, uses the action, gets me the information. This time it says the brick is a two by three. Um, I'll say yes, one more time, all right? So now I'm gonna go and put in uh, 3003, and then it's going through the same thing, using the action, getting the information, and so it's done. So this is basically how it works when me, my seller, as you can see over here, this is me. And remember, I have the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. What I'm gonna do now is switch over to the other users. See, the other user over here is Gabriel, who just has the Microsoft 365 E3 license and that user also sees the same agent. So let's try to replicate that exact same discussion over here. Uh, I come in and I ask the exact same question. This is looking for information regarding the Lego parts. Can you help? It says, yep, I can help with that. Provide me the Lego part number. For that, I'll try to do the exact same thing. 3001, it's going ahead and looking for that information. Great, comes back with that exact same name. Let's go and do two more. I'm gonna say yes. So now it's gonna say, oh sure, I can help with that, provide me the Lego part number. Again, 3002, it'll go ahead and use that action, gets the information. You see, it's the exact same as the other user as well, which is the point. Uh, let's go and finish this off, right? I'll say yes in this place, and I'll put the last one, which is 3003. Uh, so it gets the last information, right? So I just proved a point, is that the agent works the exact same way for both the users. So to prove to myself and to you about this message consumption, I had to first do two things. One is to figure out where I can actually go and see these messages which are built and non-built, and also come up with a good testing scenario. So let's take a look at the first one, all right? Because I, I actually have to go to the Power Platform Admin Center, which is right over here, and then figure out where exactly we can go and see all of these messages and the billing. Uh, which is kind of simple. You go to Power Platform Admin Center, also known as PPAC, right away in Building, click on the drop down. Uh, you click on Licenses, and then you go to Copilot Studio. But one of the things you want to do is specifically pick your environment. So for that, I'll go to my environments, I'll select the environment, and the one I did it on is this one Christian Family Dev USA. So I selected that. And now that it is selected, you can see that it's actually telling me hey, this Copilot Studio one you're seeing is specifically for this environment. And then if I scroll down over here, you are able to see all of this build versus non-build messages that is going on. Also, you can download this spreadsheet. It's a CSV file, we can see it in the spreadsheet, and this is where it gives you the breakdown based on the days that it's happening. So now that I figured this out, the next thing that I had to do was come up with a really good testing scenario. So let me show you that as well. So let me walk you through my test plan for this agent. And again, the two users were the ones I just talked about. There was myself, I'm the only one who has Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And then there is also Gabriel who's got the Microsoft 365 E3 license. But then this was my condition. Uh, for that same agent, I did the exact same testing in Microsoft Teams. But the key thing is I broke it down into three separate days and I kept it very consistent. So on day number one, only me, Daniel Christian, I was the only one testing with the agent. On day number two, it was the opposite. Opposite it was only Gabriel Christian who was testing with the agent. That way I just make sure that when these message bills are coming in, I know exactly who's who. And then finally on the day number three, both of them tested just to figure out, hey, does that even work? And how does the message consumption look like? So this was my breakdown. So now let's go back into that Power Platform Admin Center and go ahead and export the CSV file just to see how this breakdown of messages happened. So we're back again in the PPAC, making sure it's the same environment. And like I just showed you here on the top, it says download, go ahead and click on it. And over here, it gives you some options because you can do 30 days behind, 60 days, so on and so forth. Um, I'm gonna leave it at 30 days. And when you click on download, it will generate the file in the last one day. So I just already generated it. That's why I'm just gonna click on this link. Uh, but you can always do that one per day by clicking on the download. 
So here you go. I haven't actually gone ahead and clicked on it and it did that download right here. So I'm going to open it up. And as you can see over here, this is that CSV file. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say open with Excel. And once I do that, let's go ahead and expand it over. This is what I like about this because it gives me a good rundown of all the usage dates and also the build dates versus the non build dates. So let me just go ahead and open some of this up because we'll just make sure that we're all looking at the exact same thing. Uh, the customer is good. Uh, product is good. We were, we were focusing on the Lego agent 007. Uh, so let me just go ahead and make sure I can do some filtering over here. Go ahead and do that formatting. Yeah, this is good. All that is great. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just filter down to only one agent. Um, so I'll make sure it's just the Lego agent 007. Um, and as far as the usage eight, and as far as the usage date, I'm going to go from the newest to the oldest. And this is where you can start to see that magic happen. All right. So remember that first testing scenario where I said only me, I as the Microsoft 365 Copilot license owner did all the testing on that day. I actually utilized 21 messages, but check this out. It was non build day number two gabriel came in who's only got microsoft 365 e3 license and ran through the exact same messages and guess what there was about 25 messages uh, but over there it was built and then finally day three i made sure that both the users did the exact same things with the agent and on that day 23 were built and then 23 was also not built you want to guess which one's which you're right the 23 that was built was by Gabriel Christian, who only has the Microsoft 365 E3 license. But then on that same day, there were also 23 non build messages. And that was by me because I have the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So just to take all that raw information from that Excel spreadsheet and present it nicely over here on day one, Daniel Christian was the user who had the Microsoft 365 Copilot license. He utilized 21 messages, but they were non build. On day two, Gabriel Christian was talking to the agent, but he only has the Microsoft 365 E3 license. On that day, 25 build messages were consumed. And on the third day, there were 23 non build messages by Daniel Christian and also 23 build messages by Gabriel Christian, two separate users. Isn't this awesome? Because now for once we can solidify exactly how these messages are being built based on the licenses the end user has. So the big reason why I built this video to explain to you the step by step of the message consumption is because it is so common for companies to have a wide variety of licenses. Companies usually start with either the business or the enterprise licenses, and then they build on top of that by buying Microsoft 365 Copilot licenses. However, not all the users would have the Copilot license. But now with this example, you know exactly how the agent's message consumption is going to be because based on the agent that you build, you know that with the users who got the Microsoft 365 Copilot, they are not going to consume billable messages, but the regular users who have the business or the enterprise, they will. You have the knowledge now to do a good guesstimate of your message consumption. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. Hopefully it gives you the motivation to go and build more agents. And as always, use both Copilot Studio and Microsoft 365 Copilot. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.